Well, it's a good afternoon today. Today on the summer, summer solstice today, 2023, I'm at Hull, Hull Minster. I've just been to um, the Ferens Museum. I did miss the uh, Egyptian special in there. There was a famed, and um, I missed it by a few days. It was on Sunday, but it's a still a fantastic art gallery in itself. But um, yeah, obviously barefooting on a little barefoot tour. Let's go. It's uh, still open for roughly around an hour, so we'll have a look in Grimsby Minster. Uh, not Grimsby, Hull Minster. Bloody Grimsby Minster. But yeah, let's have a look. What's the fantastic architecture? It is a lot bigger than Grimsby Minster. Sorry, I come from Grimsby, so if I do say Grimsby Minster, it's completely by accident. I am looking forward to um, having a look. As the, you can see, the archways. Spears, that's the Christ at the top on its throne. Hopefully, I'd be very destroyed if they did, but if they allow, refuse to allow them allow me entry in such a religious establishment <laughs> no, I am barefoot so a lot of pilgrims would have made this 800 years ago a thousand years ago um, and they'd have come here from miles all over to come mostly make prayers and worship Jesus and God look Is this font? It's very eroded over time. It's got the Yorkshire Rose there with us being in Yorkshire. And the other floral decorations, these are our various houses and that. Local houses. Some restoration work going on, it's good to see. It's got to be the best one I've seen now since I've been doing this, other than Lincoln Cathedral, but since I've been doing the Barefoot Chronicles. That is the most detailed stained glass that I've been in for a while. Amazing. King Edward, I think. Maybe Edward the Confessor. Yeah. There you go there. 1299. Over 700 years. So it's probably built on an earlier site, I do believe so. Some of the detail is stone masonry, it's phenomenal. Phenomenal. So you've got your Jesus there and your divine feminine there. St. Mary. Thank you, sorry. It's a glorious piece, that. You've got the angels on either side, displaying the trumpets, the harp and the cymbals. So obviously that would have been burning incense in, doing our fragrance.
What a complete honour because at midnight last night I went round Grimsby Minster and then by three o'clock the next day, the same day, I ended up at Hull Minster. They're both barefoot. Drilling and so forth. You got Christ and the crucifixion. So the Roman soldiers there. Um, Christ and the good two thieves. I think one of them is a good one. So these would have been your comic book strips of the day. Each one tells a story. Each picture paints a thousand words. Obviously, when they took Christ down after he died, and his, uh, his little prayer room. His Knights Templars. Norman Mason. First World War. Whoa, that floor was creaking, man. I was gonna fall into the tunnels underneath, that'd be cool. I wanna fall into a bottomless pit, though. <laughs> the medieval architecture archways just there uh, William Woolley not sure it would have been a um, resting place here for a prominent figure there would have been like a stone statue of a knight knight's temple where I'm walking This is Moses. I believe so. And Noah's Ark there. Obviously Christ and the fishermen. I think that is St. John. So you see the slight erosion going on there. Magnificent stone masonry though, you have to admit. Ah, here we go. So as they said in that side, there's a, normally a stone sculpture, there's a man and a lady here.
Latin. Interesting symbol that. I'm not familiar with what that is. Again, it's in Latin. It's a sigil I've never come across before. So there's a lot of energies here. Wow, old flag. A lot of energies. Actually, I'm barefoot and everyone's got shoes on. See the last supper there. That the angel, Archangel Michael? I do believe so. So he has a sword. So obviously, I'm named after my namesake, is after the Archangel Michael, who is godlike. Very ancient flag, that. Caution, uneven surface. What a great honour to be jump out on a bus over the Humber just to explore whole city centre barefoot. And it has started raining outside, which isn't a good sign. It's a good job I have come prepared. Just the other day I was uh, drenched by this downpour and thunder and lightning. <laughs> Back in the day, that would have been solid gold, and um, so the Vikings took a lot of stuff over the years. And plunder. I do you believe the bottom on this would have had um, the hot coal coals, and uh, would have had incense coming out? Well, I learned yet. <laughs> no, they brought, they brought the red carpet out for me. They rolled out the red carpet for me. They knew I was coming. <laughs> Angels up there. Be rude not to, wouldn't it? Talking the organ, put in the organs. Om Namah Shivaya. Lectern. It's very warm, sorry. 
Maha Mahadev. Mary, and baby Isa, Jesus, peace be upon him. Incredible detail. So the original stone where it had been replaced over the years. They do look like sirens in the bottom there. Nah. No. Nah. That's what they did at first, like mermaids. Oh dear, it is raining. <laughs> Quite profusely. Fairly modern crew, that one. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. It is raining out there. I'm going to take some photos now and uh, upload this video in a bit. And I hope you enjoyed the special summer solstice. So, summer solstice blessings. Sorry about the drill work. Wish you a good day and God bless. <laughs>